Hi everybody, it's Maria from cardbomb.blogspot.com and I'm here today to show you how to make this cute little elephant card. I posted this card on my blog a, a few days ago and had a lot of really positive feedback but also a lot of questions. People were curious to know how I did the shading at the bottom of the elephant um, and below the cute little mouse and um, I had also posted a couple of quick tips on my blog and people uh, responded really positively and wanted a little more information on that so I thought that it might be helpful if I did it in video form. This elephant stamp yet is not released yet. It's coming soon in the 2016-17 annual Stampin' Up! catalog and it's part of one of the new Hostess sets called Love You Lots. Here's that whole set. So cute. I think it's going to be really popular. I just burned my arm on my light you guys. Um, to make this card Let's just get started so we can show you what to do. To make this card, you're gonna need a card base in basic gray. Size for that is five and a half by eight and a half and scored at four and a half. And then on top, the card face, that's what I call a card face, is four by five and a quarter. And this color is Sweet Sugar Plum. It's one of our new in colors and I absolutely love it. And normally I'm not a pink kind of person, but I really like this. It's a little more purpley, but I really like it. The first thing you're going to do is run this sweet sugar plum through the embossing through the big shot with an embossing folder. And I've already gone ahead and done that. This is the embossing folder that I picked was the large polka dots. Um, see that? That's one of my tips and tricks. Just give me a second and we'll get to that. The first thing that I'm going to do to make the, the background, as you can see on here, got black spatters in the background is I'm going to use my stamp and write marker and I'm going to use the brush side and I'm just going to flick it in the cap and I'm going to move my little sign because you don't want anything around that you don't want ink all over. That looks like enough. You don't have to worry too much about that bottom left because your image is going to cover it up. So now it's embossed and it's speckled and I'm just going to put that aside so we can work on our, on, our, on our image. To do your image piece, the first thing you're going to do, I've already done this step just because I wanted to make sure it was dry. You're going to stamp the elephant in black, or sorry, um, basic gray archival ink. It's permanent ink and it's great for water coloring. It, coloring. It's not going to smear on you. And then the next thing I did was I took my Dapper Denim ink pad, also another new in color, and I squeezed it just to get a little bit of ink on the inside of the lid. And I watercolored using my aqua painter. I'm whizzing through this because we're trying to get to the shading. And I've already gone ahead and done that. I wanted it to be dry so that we could do the shadows beneath. I'm gonna put away my Dapper Denim. Grab my smoky slate. So we're not using the archival for the watercoloring. That was just for stamping the envelope. Or stamping the elephant. The envelope. Stamp the envelope too. So here we go. I'm just gonna, I've already put a drop of smoky slate reinker in here. Looked like it had a little bit of the blue on it still. I'm gonna get it a little bit wet. And you need to just remember that once you put the ink on, you can't get it off. So starting lighter is better than, than going too dark and not being able to undo it. And what I'm thinking as I do this is that the light is coming from behind the elephant at this angle, and I'm trying to make the shadow all come the same direction. tiny mouse. So we've got the legs and the trunk and then the body comes right so you kind of want to make it reflect a little bit what the body of the elephant does. And you don't, it doesn't have to be too perfect, it's watercoloring. Just get some darker colors in there. So 
I just want to get an, some lighter gray just to show that we've got a ground. And all the way off, we're going to cut off around right here, and so I want to go get a little bit of this gray just extending past where I'm going to cut it off. If you feel like you want it a little bit darker, you can go ahead and add more color. Sometimes you have to hit it with the big shot um, or let it dry a little bit more before you can get that cool watercolory look that you might be going for. And we're gonna just call that good. Call that good for now. All right, let me clean off my aqua painter. Close this up. While I have, I'm going to put this guy to the side, but while I have this out, I want to show you how I got this color string. How I got my, this was white, white twine, and this is what I did. I just wadded a bunch of it up, and you can see I turned some yellow accidentally. And I just got it wet like this. Nice and wet with your aqua painter. Dip it in some color and paint it. And it spreads out nicely. If you get it a little bit too dark, just add a little bit more water. You are going to have to flip it to get both sides. So the reason why this turned yellow was because I set it down to dry on another towel that I'd been using that had a lot of yellow watercolor on it. When I came back, it had absorbed the color out of the paper towel. Anyways, you get the picture. Now I'll leave that to dry and later on I can come back and use it. The way that I cut my little elephant out for my card is that I used the largest circle framelit and I just kind of framed out the elephant and the mouse in a way where I thought there was enough background but it wasn't going to be too much extra space and I cut it out like that. So here we go. This is going to run it through the big shot like that and it ends up looking like this. And that's all you need. Get this cute little water spray, little water spray heart, that's what I was thinking of it as, water spray. I used the Owl Punch and I used Silver Glimmer Paper and just punched out one of those little hearts from the Owl Punch. I'm going to use a glue dot right now just to place it right above, right there, that looks cute. Up there just for a second. Figure out where I put my uh, background that I said to leave aside. There it is. Now this is what this hole is for. Instead of wrapping my custom made string that I didn't want to waste all around the project three times around, and I also didn't want it, I didn't want it to show here. I wanted a clean edge. So what I did was I punched a hole which will be hidden by the image piece. And I simply threaded it through like this. And I used glue dots and I went around three times. And I'm not gonna do that on camera because I'm trying to be quick here. But you get the picture. You go through three times, okay? And you're gonna put some dimensionals on the back. Basically gonna show you how to build the card. Pop it on like that. Put this on here. Out of your excess um, dapper denim twine, you're gonna tie a little bow and use a, a glue dot and put it on right there. 
and it's really that simple. All right, thanks for watching. I hope you'll come back soon.